what's up guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome I'm so happy to have all of you guys back here again for another video today's video is going to be a little bit different than my typical vlog by request I'm going to be doing a March favorite I get lots of questions about the different things that I use the things that I love so I figured why not compile a bunch of them into one video and show you guys some of my favorite things right now before I get into this video I want to stop and say a very sincere thank you to everybody who took the time to comment and leave me positive words of encouragement on my last video you guys have no idea how much I not only needed that but how grateful I am for that as well it's not always easy to talk about and share your struggles and your moments of weakness and just hearing from you guys your positive words and your words of encouragement and even just hearing that some of you were grateful that I did share what I was going through and maybe you needed to hear that in that specific moment. That was enough validation for me to feel comfortable and safe sharing all of the highs and all of the lows with you guys. So I want to show you guys everything because I truly believe that in order for us to fully appreciate the highs, we've got to push through some moments of lows as well. And so again, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your kind words. The sense of community and positivity and all the encouragement that I find here with you guys on my channel just fills my heart with so much happiness. I can't thank you guys enough. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I get lots of questions from you guys about my hair, the different products that I use, what I love, and so I'm going to show you guys the first thing here are my shampoo and conditioner. This shampoo and conditioner is the Kevin Murphy line. This is something that I recently discovered, but I've also just completely fallen in love with. I actually just washed my hair today, so it's smelling and feeling really good. And that's one thing that I love the most about the Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner. It smells incredible. I swear I just spend the whole rest of the day like, <laughs> this one is the shampoo and here we have the conditioner I also really love the Kevin Murphy volumizing mousse I grabbed some of that as well I know we all want to have voluminous hair and so what I'll do is I'll spritz a little bit of this in when it's still damp and then I'll continue styling as normal and I actually really love that it's called bodybuilder how fitting next up I'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorite makeup products now I have an entire video on my favorite skincare products, so I'm going to skip that for this video, but if you're interested in the skincare products that I use and that I love, I will link that video in the description box below so that you can go back and watch. These two makeup faves, starting with the first one, this one is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is a tinted moisturizer with an SPF 30. So this is something that I will throw on if I just want a little bit of coverage but I don't want to put on like a full face of makeup. This is great if I'm just wanting to hit the gym and again not wear a full face of makeup but I still want a little bit of nice coverage and it also has that SPF in it which is super essential and important to take care of your skin using an SPF every single day. So gives me that nice little bit of coverage, plus I know I'm protecting my skin at the same time. The shade that I use is Desert 6.5. I actually got this at Sephora, so if you go in there, they will actually color match your skin to the shade that works perfect for you. So that's one reason I love Sephora for doing that. My second favorite is this mascara by MAC. It is called the Extended Play Mascara. Don't mind my super feminine lifting hands here. Show you guys the spool. It's actually very thin, which I love because you're able to grab each individual lash and really lengthen them. I don't wear lash extensions anymore and I find that I'm able to achieve really nice long looking lashes with this mascara. So I've been using this for quite a while now and I'm the kind of person when I find something that I love, I stick to it. And these are two of my go-tos. These are perfect on days when I don't wanna put on a ton of makeup but I want a little bit of coverage and then just a little mascara to help me look awake and look alive. Staying on the topic a little bit of beauty here, I get lots of questions in my videos from you guys asking what kind of tanner I use or how I achieve the tan that I have. I have not been in tanning beds in a very long time. I kicked that habit way back in my college days and I do use a self tanner and this is the only self tanner that I use. This is the Rosa self tanning. 
The color that I apply mostly is the Tropical Bronze. There is a Compete color as well, which is a little bit darker. I find that the Tropical Bronze is the perfect shade for me when I just want just a nice everyday glow. I usually apply this around once a week or sometimes twice a week depending on how tan I want to be or need to be. But the one thing I love about Rosa Self Tanning is that it goes on super easy. It doesn't streak and uh, you don't need to buy any sort of like special mitt or anything like that to put it on. You only need to use just like a basic rubber glove that you can buy from Walgreens or CVS. So very cheap and affordable. My pre-tan regimen is usually just a nice exfoliation using some exfoliating gloves in the shower I make sure that I'm perfectly dry I don't put on any other lotions or anything like that beforehand and then I just apply the Rosa self tanner with some rubber gloves like I said I'll usually put it on before bed and another thing I love about it is that it dries really fast too so I can put it on and I'm dry almost immediately I don't have to sit there and like wait forever to let it dry hop into bed wake up the next morning and I'm tan so it's great so as I mentioned when I was talking about the two makeup staples that I use, I mentioned that I stopped getting lash extensions. It's just not something that I want to do forever and I'm not going to lie, they're a little bit addicting. So I knew if I was going to stop, I just needed to just rip it off like a band-aid and just stop getting them and just work with my natural lashes. I used to have super duper long natural lashes. I don't even know why I bothered getting lash extensions. I think like everybody else was doing it. So I was like, let me try it. But I'm actually loving having my natural lashes and using that mascara with just a basic eyelash curler. My lashes are full and look amazing again. A lot of people have asked me what I've done to grow my natural lashes. This is one thing that I absolutely swear by. This is the Hair, Skin, and Nails Vitamin from NLA for Her. I have been taking this religiously. It's just two capsules twice a day, any time of day. I have been using this since NLA came out with this product and it's made a tremendous difference in the clarity of my skin, in my hair. The strength of my nails has improved a ton and I definitely attribute it to helping me grow my lashes as well. Let's talk food. We all know nut butters are life. I mean, let's be real here. You probably have seen me talk about this specific nut butter in some of my different vlogs, maybe in some of my full day of eating, but if we're talking about favorites here, I have to share this one with you guys. This is Nutso 7 Nut and Seed Butter, and I am addicted. Hello, my name is Karen, and I am addicted to Nutso Nut Butter. It is cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, brazil nuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds. All of those combined in there just add this incredible, amazing, just, ugh, this crunch. It's just so good, you guys. I don't even have words. Let me just show you. Those little black dots are the chia seeds. Like, I honestly just have no words for how good this is. I just really want you guys to try it. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked this up at my local grocery store. I'm sure most grocery stores carry it too. If you can't find it at the grocery store, perhaps on Amazon or online, something like that. This is the Nutso 7 Seed and Nut Butter and it is bomb.com. So I've also gotten lots of questions from you guys about recommendations for devotionals. I share sometimes the different entries from the devotionals that I read. You'll see them here in my vlog. I'll snap entries on my Snapchat and on my Instagram stories as well. And so I figured why not share a couple of my favorites here in my March favorites with you guys. This one here is Closer to God Each Day by Joyce Meyer. I absolutely love Joyce Meyer. I hope that someday I get to just meet her and hug her and tell her how much of an impact she's had on my life. This one I've read entirely all the way through, but I can pick it up still again and just get the same amount of fulfillment and enjoyment out of reading it. So with a devotional each day is marked, randomly open to April 3rd, but then the next page obviously will be April 4th, and there's a different reading for each day of the year. Another favorite that I have on iBooks, is The Confident Woman, also by Joyce Meyer. And then currently I'm reading a third Joyce Meyer devotional called Ending Your Day Right. And that one I'll typically read, obviously Ending Your Day Right, I'll read that one at bedtime. I just find that, you know, I talk a lot about things that I do for self-care and reading my devotionals is definitely one of those things that helps me along with meditating. I definitely keep my devotionals in my everyday routine and I just find that it puts me in a much better place mentally and emotionally, not only to start my day, but to end my day on the right foot too. 
I might as well share this with you guys too. This here is my ride or die bay that I absolutely go nowhere without. So this is called a hydro jug. One jug is 73 ounces. And since I started using this thing to drink my water every day, I have found that I have had less of a struggle getting in my water intake for the day. And as we know, getting in your water intake can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. So that is why you will literally never see me go anywhere without this jug. It's always attached to me. Bye. Moving on to a little bit of like fitness and fashion, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite leggings right now. So I think we can say that these are obviously my favorites because I have them in literally every color that they make them in. These are the Better Bodies leggings, and I have them in pink, blue, slash teal, and coral. The coral are my newest ones, and I'm obsessed with them. I love how the little detailing up at the top, it shapes your glutes like so nicely and so perfectly. I own a lot of Better Bodies clothes, including the leggings, the shorts, I have a lot of tops and sports bras by them as well. They're just really, really good quality. All the Better Bodies clothes that I've had, I've had for a very long time. So they're good quality and they last a long time. The thing that I love also about these leggings is that this is down at the ankle. They have a little zip. So you can essentially make them fit however you want down at your ankle. You can even like roll them up a little bit and zip them where you want them so that they stay where you want them on your calf. Favorite shoes right now. These are the Adidas Virtues. I searched and searched forever to find cute white shoes that fit and that were comfortable at the same time and I finally found them. I have very small feet so it's really hard for me to find shoes in general that are cute and also fit well at the same time and so jackpot with these. I this item, you're probably like, oh, Karen, what in the actual heck are you holding right now? <laughs> this has been a lifesaver for me during prep. This thing is called the Theracane and it essentially allows you to do some massage and like self myofascial release. You can sort of like get in there in those like really hard to reach places like your lats, ooh, yeah, oh yeah. And like, really get in there and get those knots out, oh. And then you just like hold it right there on that pressure point until it just, you just feel it release. It's like the best feeling ever, so good. There's like little knobs on all different places, kind of put it where you need it apply that pressure and what I'll usually do is just hold it there until I kind of feel again like that tension just sort of releases. This next thing is something I'm so excited to finally have. This is my new weight belt, custom with my name. This belt was done by Cardillo Weight Belts. I naturally just have a very small frame. I'm only four foot 11 and three quarters, five foot on a good day. Normally my waist is just small, my frame is small, and I have literally tried every single weight belt under the sun and not one of them has come close to giving me the support I need. So I finally went and got a custom belt from Cardillo Weight Belts. I finally feel like I have a belt that does what it's supposed to be doing. Not only is it effective, it's cute because it's custom and has my name on it and I love it. If you're like me and you feel like you've struggled to find a weight belt that actually gets tight enough and supports you enough and does what it's supposed to be doing, I highly recommend getting a belt, whether it's from Cardillo or any other kind of belt where you can customize it, getting a belt that's custom for you and your size. Last but not least, I want to share with you a favorite music that I've been listening to. I actually snapped this, a workout video snap, a couple of weeks ago, and I got tons of snaps from you guys asking, what was that song? One of my favorites right now is Connor Maynard. He's got a lot of original songs as well, but what I love about him is that he does some really, really good covers and mashups. He'll take like a bunch of different songs that you would never think would go together and put them together in like a super sick mashup. Shout 
shout out to Connor Maynard. He has been getting me through my cardio sessions in the morning. Go check him out, guys. Let me know what you think. This app that I'm actually listening to my music on that I'm showing you right here is the YouTube music app. So you can actually like watch the videos if you want while you're listening, which is kind of cool. So I know this video was a little bit different than my typical vlog, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in me doing a favorites video more often, perhaps once a month, and just sharing different things that I'm loving at that current time, comment below and let me know if there's other specific categories of favorites that I didn't share that maybe you're interested in, comment those below as well and I'm happy to share them with you guys. Everything that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to list in the description box for you guys as well so that you can find it easily if it's something that you want to try out. And if you do end up trying any of these things out, please comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. As always, I so appreciate you guys being here. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye.